So we're going to look at uh, force and resistance. This is 2.2, um, 2.3, uh, I'm not sure, of your textbook. But force and resistance, so F minus R, which R is, uh, resistance is de denoted by R, for, um, F is, force is denoted by F, anyway, is equal to zero. Well, think about it, it makes sense, because if you have opposing forces and they're equal, Let's say um, Zui and Zhuang are having a tug of war or something like that, and they're pulling the same amount, and neither one is going either way, then those are going to be equal forces. So um, it's relatively intuitive, I guess, is the word I'm going to use. So. Oh. We're gonna look at this formula. Uh, a car with a mass of 1500, by the way, I got this from your textbook, but I just want this for instructional purposes, experiences air resistance, so that's gonna be R, is your resistance, of 450 newtons. It accelerates at three meters per second to the negative two, find the driving force. So we're, we're trying to find F, and we're gonna subtract R from it. So whenever you're working with Newton's first and second law, please use this formula and a car of a mass. So it's pretty straightforward, I think. So we're going to subtract 450 from F because that's our resistance. So that's our R. And then we have 1500 times, times the acceleration. And that's 4,500 plus 450 is going to be equal to F. So F is going to be 4,000, what is that, 950? 50 newtons. And there's the solution. So it's an easy unit, hopefully you understand. Yeah. Yes.